Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon. It's actually uh, noon here. Uh, I hadn't done a video in a while. Last time I tried to do a video, the video wouldn't upload, so I apologize for that. Uh, what I wanted to go over was a few principles of what's been happening here lately that really kind of shows that God's trying to get our attention, saying, you know, times are really starting to speed up as far as progress and where we're at. So, uh, there's a lot of people who are questioning, you know, well, how do you know where we're at? How do you know that these are the end times? You're looking into it too much. And Jesus gave a very strong, uh, I guess you should say, a strong comparison relating to recognizing the times, how you could recognize one thing but not the other. So it's found in Luke chapter 12, uh, verses 54 through 56, which I'm going to read. And here you go. And he said also to the people, when you see a cloud rise out of the west, straight away you say, There cometh a shower, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, you say, There will be heat, and it comes to pass. You hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky of the earth and the earth, but how is it that you do not discern this time? So he's saying right there, he says, you know how to tell when there is rain coming or that's going to be hot or cold or whatever. You know, how is it that you sit there and you put off, you know, these signs I give you? And uh, so... Let's look at some of these signs that have taken place. You know, you know of what's happened with uh, the king of Saudi Arabia has passed away. And the next ruler has been appointed. Uh, <clears throat> but it also has been said that, you know, there will be a struggle. At least according to the Muslims and the... Islamics, you know, they say that there's to be no other, that the death of the Saudi king will bring about their Mahdi. And uh, so there's going to be a power struggle. And, you know, the overthrow of Yemen, you know, the president of Yemen has thrown in the towel and said, I will not fight. Uh, Russia and Iran, here recently, like a couple weeks ago, has signed a military defense pact with each other <clears throat> that they would cooperate with one another uh, in so-called uh, terrorist uh, activity, which who they call terrorists, well, uh, it's not who you would think it would be. It's not ISIS. I mean, they may say that to the media, but who they really consider to be the terrorists, well, would be Israel as one of them. So, uh, the next is the fact that Ethiopia, which this didn't make uh, mainstream news, uh, Ethiopia and Turkey also made a military alliance with one another. Uh, so all these things have all happened in one week. In just that one week, we've seen that happen along with Obama's threat threats to sabotage uh, Israeli Prime Minister's efforts to uh, keep him from uh, staying in office. He sent his campaign team 
to go and take Netanyahu out of office. And, uh, you know, it's more out of a fit of rage because Netanyahu is urging them to, uh, to put new sanctions on Iran because Iran's uh, nuclear capabilities. It's not about nuclear power for peace. They don't want peace. That, that's very clear. And the fact that uh, Hezbollah and Hamas, you know, are potential alliances to work against Israel to participate in an attack on Israeli occupation. You know, Iran pretty much has a stronghold. And I'd say the rebel forces of Yemen, uh, you know, Iran's fingerprints are all over that. Uh, their stronghold in Iraq, their stronghold in Syria, their stronghold in different areas surrounded by Israel, it makes perfect sense. You know, first they're going to send others to do their dirty work in an attempt to take out Israel. You know, and uh, who was, I think it was Hamas has finally accepted a partnership with Iran. Uh, so, where Iran decides to put their missiles you know, it's going to be so that way they can take the heat off of themselves and, you know, make it look like it was somebody else going to attack Israel. But the missiles that they have are the missiles that will be used by the people who will perform the attacks. It will have Iran's signature on it. So... It would make perfect sense that whenever the Psalm 83 war shows to be a failure for Iran's efforts and uh, Iran's backing of these attacks on Israel, well, Iran will decide, you know what, if I want this done, I gotta do it myself. So, uh, that's where Ezekiel 38 will come into play. So, like I said... Ezekiel 38 is in the making right now. We're seeing the fingerprints of Ezekiel 38. So what does that say? Where does that put us with Psalm 83? And Isaiah 17 discussing the destruction of Damascus and the alliances of nations surrounding Israel that look to come to destroy and say, come and let us uh, remove the name of Israel, that the name of Israel shall no longer be in remembrance. So, uh, this is pretty much my summary of what has been taking place. You know, a never-before-seen ultimate alliance to want to destroy Israel and destroy the leadership led by, you know, led by Obama against the Netanyahu uh, campaign. So, uh, I, I am pretty much completely absorbed into what's going on with Israel. Israel has my main eye. You know, what's going on with Israel. You know, if you're not talking about Israel and activity over there, you know, I'm not going to put so much effort into wanting to look at that. You know, I will acknowledge the signs, but Israel is my main focus because Israel is the timepiece as the Bible described that it would be. You know, also there would be other signs such as earthquakes, disease, famine, you know, things such as that nature. Uh... One other thing this morning, uh, it kind of startled me, was how much people have taken a liking to using 
drones. You know, whether it be just for recreational use or whatever, but it's like, you know, these drone looking things. You know, I've come to the conclusion that if we are now getting the hand me downs of just simple drones that just have little cameras, oh, what does our federal government have in their hands? They probably most likely have drones that are armed. With weapons. Well it's not so much a probably. It's a most likely they do. Um, so I mean. Technology is said that knowledge would increase. And technology is going to be the main head of it. So. Uh, <clears throat> In a closing note, uh, speaking of this uh, campaign movement being made by Obama versus Netanyahu, I have put together a petition, which I will put the link in the description uh, upon the uploading of this video. Uh, so if you could just uh, click on the link, it will take you over to the petition I have set up uh if you will please sign this petition it is to show support for the prime minister of israel to show support that you know we don't need to lose netanyahu right now because israel is in its most vulnerable state you know i do trust that the time has come that netanyahu is to be moved to side out of power you know, so be it, but I'm not going to give up that easily. <sighs> so, uh, if you will, please just sign this petition and uh, show your support for Israel and their leader that has shown remarkable, awesome leadership over there in Israel. And uh, keep on looking up. The signs are everywhere and they are going to increase. You know, read read the Bible. Don't stop at no man knows the day or the hour. Because if you just stop right there, then you are leaving yourself to be ignorant of the times that we're living in. Uh, you know, also... The, his coming will be like that of a thief.